Hello guys, Softoni here, welcome to another video lesson and in today's tutorial we're going to create this awesome and creative typography background. I want to thank you again for watching this uh, video tutorial and to tell you if you haven't subscribed on my channel hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon so you will always be notified whenever I post a new clip. Alright, let's see what we're going to create today. Alright, we're back here in After Effects and first like always we're going to create a new composition, hit Ctrl plus N on your keyboard or go on this little icon to create a new comp and for this composition name we will uh, rename it Typography. Alright, you can also type your own name of course, for width and height we will do 1920 by 1080 and for duration maybe to around 6 second long hit, ok. And our first step, uh, like usual, is to create a new solid. Right click in our timeline and then go new and to create a new solid like so. And for this solid settings, for this name, we will rename it background, hit OK. And our first effect is going to be ramp effect. Go here in effects and preset, type gradient ramp and drag and drop onto our background layer. OK. It's time to make a uh, few adjustments, hit here and then hit uh, on these uh, little handles to uh, readjust our colors. For this uh, first ramp we will do a uh, dark grey color, also for the second one something like this, maybe a little lighter, like so, ok. And our next step to prevent uh, color bending is to add a little bit of noise, go to in effects and presets. If you can find this effects and preset, go to window and then find it here in the effects and presets. Ok, uh, type noise HLS, this one, drag and drop here in our background layer and do for hue, saturation and lightness about 3% like so. Our next step is to create another composition uh, here in After Effects, uh, close this for now and uh, go here on little icon for composition name I will do it Fractal Noise, also 1920 by 1080 duration 6 seconds long, hit OK and here in our new composition let's create a new solid then right click uh, to create a new solid also we will uh, rename it Dots hit OK and first effect that we're going to use is CC ball action, drag and drop onto our dots um, layer and for this uh, grid spacing do around 10, also ball size also 10. For this uh, uh, particular solid we will do uh, another effect, type here fill, drag and drop also here in our dots and for the color choose white color. Ok. Now we have something like this. Also our next step is to drag and drop our fractal noise comp into our typography comp. Uh, drag and drop like so. And now we have here in finals our dots. Ok. Now it's time to add uh, adjustment layer here in our fractal, fractal noise comp. Right click and then go new and type uh, find here adjustment layer. And for this adjustment layer we will do uh, first effect uh, fractal noise. Go to effects and preset, find fractal noise, drag and drop onto our adjustment layer. For the fractal type uh, leave it to basic, also noise type uh, uh, soft linear and uh, we will readjust contrast up to uh, 450 and brightness to around minus 50. Ok, also we will add another effect here, find triton effect and you can also uh, here in highlights change your favorite color but I will do maybe uh, yellow cor color for this particular tutorial. Ok, now in finals we have something like this. Also what we can do here uh, hit F3 to see this effects control. We can animate our an evolution. Uh, hit Alt on your keyboard and then left click uh, on your mouse and type here time asterisk uh, 150 like so. 
Now we have an animation like so. And when you go back here in our finals, we have this uh, dots awesome background. Okay, now it's time to create our text layer. Hit Ctrl plus T on your keyboard or go here uh, on this horizontal type tool, Ctrl plus T, and then I will type my text creative. Okay, and for this uh, text font, I'm using this Montserrat. You can find it on fontsquirrel.com. And for this uh, font uh, width, I will do maybe this uh, black one. Okay, align it to the center. Go here to find align. If you can't see this uh, align tab, go to uh, window and then choose here align. Okay, now it's time to animate uh, this uh, creative text. Open up here, go to animate and uh, choose here position and then go also to here uh, on add and property and also find opacity. Okay. For position go to around 130, like so for this uh, Y parameter and for opacity type here 0. Go to around 2 seconds uh, and then open up this range selector 1 and set our uh, first keyframe to offset, go to around 100. Also go to around 0 frames and type here minus 100. Now we have basic animation like so. Alright, it's time to open up this advanced tab and for this, uh, uh, for this uh, mode, for this uh, shape go to from square to ramp up, is high go to around 70% and is low maybe to around 30 and now when we hit 0 we have this really cool animation. Also what you can do is to double click here to show uh, our offset keyframes. Uh, choose them and then hit F9 on your keyboard. Also go to the graph editor. If you can't find curve like this, right click and then hit edit speed graph and draw a curve like so. Now when we hit zero, we have this really cool and creative text animation. Okay, next thing what we're gonna do is to make this scene even better looking. I will close this for now, also this one. And I will draw here a few lines in our finals. Okay, hit G on your keyboard or go here to our pen tool and I will create a first line like so. Something like this and open up this triangle here and go to add and find here wiggle pads. Also duplicate this one, control plus D, hit V on your keyboard and move it to around here like so. Also we will draw a third line like so Again, choose this pen tool and draw a curve like so. Now we have three really cool lines in our finals. Also go to here, then add and also wiggle path. Now when we hit zero, we have this uh, wiggle animation of our lines. The next thing what we're gonna do is to grab all those three layers, right click and then pre-compose and I will call it lines. Hit OK and you can play around with our blending modes. Go to here and then find overlay like so. And then you can also duplicate according your needs like so. Maybe three times is looking good for me. Now when we hit zero, we have something like this. OK, next step in our finals is to create uh, another solid layer. Go here and then right click to create a new solid and we will rename it checkerboard and find here in the uh, in effects and preset checkerboard effect okay drag and drop onto our checkerboard uh, layer here in our finals and for this width go to around 100 and you can also uh, play here in our with our blending modes maybe to soft light or overlay uh, like so and now it's time to also animate this opacity uh, hit alt on your keyboard and then left uh, mouse click and go wiggle open and close bracket 1.100 now when we hit zero we have this really cool and creative opacity animation for this checkerboard okay our next step is going to uh, be to duplicate this creative text hit ctrl plus d hit v on your keyboard or hold shift and then down arrow on your keyboard like so and for this creative 2 text i will type 
background and for this size of uh, this text I will do maybe to around 100 and also for this uh, font I will do Montserrat maybe uh, medium and also to uh, swap this fill and stroke color like so something like this maybe to lower this a bit to maybe around 80 and also readjust here in final click like so and also what you can do is to uh, select all of our text and move it to around center like so now when we hit zero we have something like this also you can readjust it here in our finals for this uh, first one uh, set this to around zero okay and for this background text go to around maybe 10 frames like so and we have this now really cool animation also if you prefer this background outline text you can leave it like so but i will uh, change it back to regular and to do also Montserrat uh, light here in our character panel Okay, now it's time to create another text layer here in our finals hit here to create a new composition for width and height uh, Set to around 500 by 500 for composition name. I will type text 02 hit ok on your keyboard and go to here to horizontal type tool, tool or control plus T and draw a rectangle like so. I have already my text here and I will just paste it. Of course, you will type your own text, control plus V. Make sure that your text is here is light and for text size maybe to around uh, 20. Also leading, I will leave it to around 25 like so. Now it's time to import our text O2 here in our finals, drag and drop like so, and also we will create, uh, you can also readjust it here, and we will create also animation, go to here, to zero frames, and go to effects and preset, and find this typewriter effect, okay, like so. Drag and drop here in our finals, hit W to show all of our keyframes, and our animation is set to two seconds, two and a half seconds. You can play around, readjust it according to your needs, according to your text size. And when we're back here in finals, we have animation like so. Okay, now it's time to duplicate this text O2 and readjust it here in our finals. Hit Ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate. Hit V on your keyboard to move it to around here. Scale it down to maybe around 50% or so. Also duplicate this uh, once again, readjust it here in our finals, hit S, scale it according to your needs, like so. Also duplicate once again, move it to around here, hit S, and then also duplicate once again to go around here, hit S to scale it a little bit more. For this first one, maybe to go around here, hit S, maybe to around 90% or so, and also uh, go to this text O2, and for this paragraph, do this and center our text like so. And now when we're back here in finals, we have uh, this really cool and creative animation. Maybe for this one, go to around here, readjust it a bit more, like so. And also what you can do is to readjust our text O2 here in our finals. I will uh, do this randomly like so, maybe to go like so, something like this. Okay, now when we hit zero, we have animation like so. Really cool. Okay, also next thing what, what you can do to uh, grab all those text O2 layers and then right click and then pre-compose. Make sure to move all attribute, attributes into a new composition. I will rename it text O2 plus elements, hit enter on your keyboard and you can play around here with our blending modes. If you can't find blending modes, just hit this expand or collapse icon. And for the blending modes, I will choo choose maybe soft light for now. Also duplicate this once again and now we have this really cool and creative animation. Really cool and catchy. Okay, now it's time to create another cool animation here in our finals. Right click here in our timeline, create new and then solid. 
we will do width and height 300 by 300 and we will call it numbers hit ok go to here in effects and preset and type numbers effect ok drag and drop onto our numbers layer and hit here ok for this fill color i will do white color readjust it here in our finals for these decimal places i will do maybe two and go to around zero keyframes maybe to around minus 160 set set up our first keyframe go to around six seconds and readjust it according your needs i will do random numbers maybe 260 now when we hit zero we have this cool animation like so okay now it's time to duplicate this number slayer Control plus d here in our timeline readjust it here in our finals like so also scale it here if you want Control plus d again according your needs Control plus d you can also hit w hit j or k to play around with those numbers if you want like so and again duplicate if you want another here also readjust it here in our finals like before okay readjust it a bit more if you need like so and now when we hit zero we have this really creative animation all right uh, final step that we're going to do is to readjust uh, this creative and background text a bit more for this creative we will do instead of uh, 150 180 go to this paragraph and uh, center text like so and then align also center for this uh, background we will do to maybe 80 or so like so and from the light we will do maybe uh, semi bold like so all right now when we hit zero we have this really cool animation maybe for creative maybe for background text move it a bit down like so and now it's time to add a little bit of uh, movement here for creative text go to animate and then find tracking here uh, from zero uh, tracking amount set from zero to go to around six seconds and type maybe 20 or so and also we will do it for this background text go to here on the beginning of this layer also animate and then go find tracking for this tracking amount from zero we will do maybe around 15 and now when we hit zero we have this really cool and creative text and also we have forgotten for this background just to align it to the center and now when we hit zero this is looking really cool also for the background it, it is really important to go to paragraph and to center this text and also align if you can't find also this paragraph uh, go to window and then you can find paragraph here all right guys uh, that was everything for today's tutorial i uh, hope you enjoyed this one if you like this one please uh, hit the like button also subscribe if you haven't already also comment uh, and uh, take a look on my profile on my channel for even more great tutorials also all the links are in description and until next time stay creative and bye bye